Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have a process video for you using the Clouds of Witness devotional kit from By the Well for God. Um, I started this while we were off camping this last week, so I've already done uh, day one, so I'm jumping into day two. And this devotional kit, if you did not look at my unboxing, head on over and check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, but we are looking at different foreign missionaries throughout this devotional booklet. And so um, today we are looking at Count Nicholas von Zinzendorf <laughs> from 1700 to 1760. So way, way, way back. Uh, and it's really kind of fun to learn about these foreign missionaries and uh, just the unique things that they did during their life. And so my journaling entry is going to be in this verse, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 7. And I'll go ahead and read that now. It says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything but only God who gives the growth and so we uh, I love what Lori writes here she says if my focus is on simply being the Lord's tool my goal only glorifying my Heavenly Father then it doesn't matter how he chooses to use me I'm just honored to be used so whether you're doing something spectacular and amazing like some of the foreign missionaries mentioned in this devotional or if you are just I don't know witnessing to the checker at the grocery store however it is it's how god is calling you um, to do his work and really it's about him and his plan and not about you and your role and so i wanted to journal that out in my journaling bible today and i will be using a variety of products that came with the kit as well as some bonus goodies that you can add on with the kit I'm going to be trying something for the first time, which may be an epic failure on camera. We'll see. Uh, I picked up this Distress Resist Spray from Tim Holtz. This is a new product that was released this year, and it's been sitting on my desk for about two months now, <laughs> and I've been scared to try it. Uh, if you have never heard of this, uh, definitely look it up on YouTube because there are some specific uh, ways to use it. You want to be careful um, when just spraying this. Make sure you spray it in a box because it will ruin surfaces that it touches. Um, and won't come off so it is permanent. I'm going to be trying to use it with a paintbrush I think and the paintbrush is probably going to be ruined and that's okay um, to create some clouds and then watercolor over the clouds. So we'll see what happens. It may be an epic failure. I don't know um, but we're going to try it and we're going to put a page together. So let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and let's jump in and document this verse. Okay, so I'm going to begin by doing some stamping on this page. So I'm sticking my Bible map behind it just to add some stability. I am going to go ahead and mask off the verse that's uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 7 with some washi tape. Because I am going to watercolor this entire page. So I want that verse to kind of stand out. So I'm taking some washi tape, sticking it to the back of my hand, remove some of the stickiness, and then covering up the verse. Now, as I work on this page and I am applying heat to it, I want to be sh careful that I don't get too much heat on this washi tape because it will cause a problem when I try to take it back off. So I'm going to be using two different stamp sets that are bonus stamp sets that you can add in with the kit. So these are not stamp sets that are available with the kit, but they are available for purchase um, to go along with the kit. I believe there is still a 20% off sale um, the ends tonight, if I'm correct, when I'm posting this Monday, June 11th, um, for 20% off of the By the Well for God stamp set. So if that is still a sale or whatever, I will link it down below and you can take advantage of that. Um, there's no coupon code or anything. She just had them on sale. Um, I can't, I'm pretty sure they're on sale today. And if not, then they're $15 a set. So they're still a good price because they're really good quality. And this set in particular with the, uh, hot air balloons is one that you can use again and again and again um, even in addition to this set and they both are they both have good um, pieces in there that you can use again and again so I'm picking this big bold piece that said who gets the glory and so as we we're looking at this verse and and thinking about our role in uh, leading others to Christ um, we all play different roles in that whether it's introducing somebody to the idea just planting the seed or coming alongside them and ministering them through their growth or sitting with them and actually leading them in the prayer asking for salvation um, wherever you step in it isn't 
it isn't about you <laughs> and your role in that um, really ultimately ends with God and giving him the glory. And so I wanted to kind of bring that out with this entry. So I'm going to stamp a little trio of these balloons. Um, everything is stamped in Versifying Onyx Black Ink. This is a permanent ink when, once it is dry. Uh, it does bleed through the page, but I mean, I'll just deal with the bleed through. Not too worried about it. And I am stamping over the text. And if that bothers you or if you don't have these stamps, there are stickers and die cuts that are in the kit that you can use as well. So here's where I'm going in with that uh, resist spray using a brush. Now I have not seen it used this way. I have only seen it kind of dabbed on, like tapped on with the uh, spray end or sprayed onto something. I'm gonna link uh, Jennifer McGuire's YouTube uh, video down below showing how she uses this and the variety of different ways that you can use this product. It does dry clear. It dries a little bit shiny. Uh, I haven't really had any problems with it sticking my pages together, so it should be fine. Uh, and it does dry with a little bit of a texture. If you spray it, it's really textured. Um, and so this creates a resist, so then you can apply product over the top and it's going to protect whatever's underneath it so I'm just taking a paintbrush I did get the brush wet ahead of time hoping that it would kind of protect the bristles and not ruin the brush and I'm kind of dabbing this product in these little cloud formations it's gonna be hard to see on camera uh, and it kind of has this milky look to it and then once it's dry you can see here it dries really quickly I did go ahead and hit it with my heat tool to speed up the drying process um, it is completely transparent and so now I can go in with watercolor over the top I did go ahead and immediately rinse out my paintbrush and it was fine it did not ruin my paintbrush um, but if you get it on surfaces like if you spray it through a stencil and you don't dry your stencil right away um, it will ruin your stencil do not put this on your stamps Tim Holtz has said over and over and over do not put it on your stamps it will ruin your stamps so don't stamp with this product um, like I said if you're interested in this product I'll list that video down below and you can check it out and get more information about how to use it but uh, so I'm going over this with um, watercolors there is the watercolor swatch card that comes with the kit but I did go ahead and pull out my Prima watercolors just to kind of add in some other colors for the background I am painting in the sky it doesn't totally match the colors that I end up using but that's okay so I'm kind of doing a pink to purple to blue sky in the background just because I thought it would be pretty and fun I wasn't really thinking ahead to using the earthy toned colors of the kit but that's okay so I went ahead and dried that first uh, layer of watercolor and now I'm going in with a second layer and at this point I'm kind of thinking dang it the resist spray didn't really work it's not standing out the way that I wanted it to I mean you can kind of see that it's resisting the watercolor but it doesn't look like clouds really um, but don't worry I'm gonna dry the second layer of paint again being really careful around that washi tape and then I'm taking a slightly damp paper towel and just buffing off the watercolor that's sitting on top of that resist spray. And now you can see where it's protected the page underneath and now I have these clear areas where it's created these clouds. So there's lots of fun ways to use this product. I need to explore a little bit more in my Bible because it is gonna be kind of finicky to use in your Bible. Um, but definitely check that video out. It looks like it's gonna be fun. I don't know. I love everything Tim Holtz products They are so fun so neat lots of different mixed media type things um, And so I really wanted to try it out and it ended up working just fine so now I'm going in using a combination of my Prima watercolors and the uh, Daniel Smith watercolors that came in the set to color in these images Real quick, sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. I'm still trying to do laundry from camping. <laughs> and it'll probably be done just in time for us to leave camping again. <laughs> so, oh well, that's just gonna be what it is. It's gonna be a little crazy over the summer. My um, posting schedule is gonna be a little crazy and sporadic. You'll notice I didn't have a planner video up yesterday. I just didn't, I didn't get to it in time. Um, things we're just going to kind of have to wing it this summer because we are going to be out of town quite a bit so uh, I'll pop in as often as I can but it's not going to be the five to seven times a week that I had been doing so sorry about that but um, we'll get there we'll get through it so these Daniel Smith watercolors I'm just taking a 
uh, water brush and activating that pigment and then picking it up and adding it to the page. Really simple. And you can see I barely made a dent in this paint for this page. So there's tons more pages I can do. I really love the water on that one balloon. I mixed some deeper blue and a deeper teal from the Prima watercolors and it's just really pretty. Uh, something I will do in the future. Again, I love that combination. So just finishing up that little bit of painting. I added some journaling. I just copied that part of the devotional that really stood out to me. And now I'm gonna create a little tab cluster using one of the die cuts from the kit and one of the fabric clippies from the kit. And that is it for the entry today. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the links in the description box below the video for all the products used, as well as the blog post with more close-up photos and links to the products used. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.